Welcome to Brussels, you people. Welcome also to, well, first of all, grim weather. Second of all, me lost. Third of all, behind me, the Brussels Motor Show. That's what we're gonna be doing today. What an intro, Seb. Nailed it. Entrance B, gate A. Is this gate A? Ooh. And welcome my dudes to the Brussels Motor Show where it is very bright currently and I'm with Misha. Hello, Misha what's up everyone? on wheels, you well? Yeah, 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 good, good on wheels good. always, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we just thought we would give you a, literally just a walking tour of what's called the dream cars section here. And it lives up to its name because they are literally all dream cars, aren't they? It's literally a garage. That your dream garage. Yeah, here. imagine if this was like your man cave, it would be ridiculous. But we're gonna start here with Vanderhall. So I'm a massive fan of this brand and I'm doing some work with them. And uh, I'm gonna put their Instagrams below. And if you guys wanna give them a follow, it'd mean the world to me because uh, I think they're just a really, really exciting company. This is the new one, the Carmel, which has a roof and doors. So that's a you know big improvement if you live in the UK. And then over here, there's what they call the Edison with around 200 horsepower this one. Fully electric, you can see it charging around back there. And just so much fun. This, you, you haven't driven one of these yet, have None, you? None, never. Yeah, they are so sick. Yeah, they seem yeah. fun as hell. Like it's just, it's ju that's exactly what they are. Four fun. seconds, 300? Yeah, it weighs nothing, it weighs around 600 Three. kilos. Yeah. So it's awesome. Vlog game strong right there. Yeah. This is, <laughs> yeah, I'm You're filming, filming on a phone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oopsie. But this is Pog. So Pog is a French YouTuber, and this is one of the cars in his fleet. As you can tell, he goes pretty wacky with the wraps, doesn't he? Insane. It's absolutely nuts. It's really, really well done though. And the car's absolutely spotless. I mean, I'll bring you around back so you can see a bit more. You've actually been on a road trip with him. I have been on a road trip. That car shoots flames, I think, until here. Yeah, it is and then terrifying. And stands on the roof and then somebody just revs it. And yeah. It's just flaming along with the car. Oh, it's awesome. It's and the... It's great, it's great. Oh yeah, it is. It's literally burnt. The wrap. I don't know if you guys can see that. But Pog to door. Pretty cool name as well. Uh, over here, we've actually got, going from one YouTuber's car to another, we've got a Supra exactly like Schmies, which is really, really cool. It's a launch edition, so it's in the matte gray, um, and looks awesome, actually. I really like those. There's a similarly specced Alpine over here. So we've got the Alpine A110. You know I owned one of these. I know. Yeah. I've never sold it. It looks yeah, 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 you never saw it. I put a wrap on it and everything. Really, really cool looking. I had it actually in this spec, just with different wheels. Then we got the A110S, which is a slightly beefed up version in a similar spec, as I said, to that Supra over there. Mini GP, that's the new Mini. That's pretty, this pretty sick cool. as well. Yeah, really nice car. Like Monaco? Yeah, in Monaco, that's perfect. 300 oh, horsepower. Go up in Nuts. the mountains, that would be like insane. Nismo GTR, very expensive GTR, but it's got really cool, like the, the little uh, air inlets there on the wheel arch in the front, just looks awesome. The exhaust of the size where I can put my head in. Yeah, the exhausts are massive. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is literally gonna be a whistle stop tour because or else we'd be here for so long. Ford GT, this is another Schmimobile. <laughs> Absolutely epic. <laughs> Looks, so, I think this has to be one of the best looking uh, it supercars is, on the market right now, but on the road. It's very sad, we don't see a lot of them here in Europe. No, you don't, because people don't really drive so them, because they, you know, they're around 700 grand, but one was just sold for 1.4 million. I, yeah. if I would have the money, I would buy one, I think. It's, oh yeah? yeah? Well, even if you have the money, it's basically impossible to get one. Great. I think there's like 15 going to the UK. Well, Shmi's probably bought all of them anyways. <laughs> but yeah. Now this thing, this is $1.7 million. dollars. It's, I can't remember exactly the name, but it's this type of car. Clearly it doesn't have an I know interior. it's French. Oh, it's French, yeah, okay. The only thing I know about this car is that it's French. Doesn't have an interior, prototype, no logo. hypercar, 1,200 horsepower, no logo in the front. Nothing. It's logoless. 
Um, now th this is actually really cool. Um, so this is a car. You can fly with it. Yeah, and it's going to be made legal. You just need to get a license, which costs about 5,000, and then you can fly it, but only during the day. Can I take off from a traffic jam? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't, I, I, I imagine there's some sort well, of law against that. No, because it's a helicopter business. Yeah, it's a helicopter. I mean, you, you, I mean, how sick is that though? But 300,000, so not like, I mean, obviously a lot of money, but not nuts. But if you get the one with the license to be able to go at night as well, it's 500,000. I want to have oh, this wow. interior in a supercar. That is a sick interior. Like the, the buttons can be useless, but just, just sort it's of- It's nuts, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, that's, that's that thing, PHP 10. Now, this is a pretty epic SVR in matte blue. Yeah. I really like SVRs. But that's the new one. I think the one, the, that's the restyled one. I think there was one just before that. Yeah, there's one before. And this the, is the, the facelift. The exhaust tips were black. Yeah. This one has a gray, gray silver in it. Yeah, like it's that. like chrome. I don't like the exhaust no, no, tips on this, no. but the car itself is pretty epic. And the color is insane. So this is the Jaguar I-Pace, and this is what they open the Formula E races with. Archie Hamilton actually drove one of these. I think maybe even this exact one, his, was this color, Probably which is pretty sick. Pink. We got a Bugatti. We've actually got two Bugattis here. This is the first of two Bugattis. This yeah. one is slightly older though. Would you daily drive that? This? Yeah. With a little hat. Yeah, with a little hat, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is sick. So this is a company that washes cars. It's and a fountain. Yeah, it's a fountain. It's, car, it's, it's the world's most expensive fountain. fountain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really cool looking. Actually, really nice spec on this piece though. It's got the tan Alcantara interior. It's pretty cool, right? Gold wheels black and white stripe it is a really cool spec always oh, going for the cheeky photo look at him go no honestly that's one of the best spec pieces i've seen awesome looking car and then the specs of the cars here are pretty strong because this is fairly bold i mean look at this blue dbs super legera convertible with orange accents orange orange calipers and orange stitching inside pretty nuts actually what do you think of that Love that. Yeah. I think it's amazing. One of my favorite cars on the market. Wait yeah. until it depreciates a bit. And I yeah. Think that's going to a bit. That's going to depreciate lot. like the Titanic and the Atlantic. Um, I actually said it about the Rolls Royce. Yeah. They wrote me a comment. They said your comment. Oh, really? No, but I mean, it is a stunning car. I'd get a coupe personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure a coupe, but the Super Legera, I think, is yeah. insane. I like this as well. I like the DBX. Really? Yeah, I, I like really? it. Not a fan? Okay. I'm not sure about this spec. I think I would go all black or something a bit I'm not more. I'm not going to say anything on camera because I still want to drive it. But Yeah? Yeah. Well, I like it. I think it's cool. The one thing I love about it, I don't know if we can sort of see. There's no step inside. Yeah. I think yeah. there's no step. It's just flat. It's just flat. I don't this know is, if you can see. It's Sorry, very, sir. It's a very small thing, but I think it's so cool. Yeah, you I mean, you're and you just easy to please me, sure. Yeah, <laughs> all you need is a flat yeah, floor and short, he's in. With my short feet. Yeah, 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 I know the feeling, mate. My legs are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're about smaller than a challenge car suspension. <laughs> Um, then we've got Ferrari F8 Tributo, very, very nice. I actually love the rear end of this because it's very F40 yeah. inspired. Um, and it's actually not glass, it's like plexiglass or something to make it light, uh, the engine cover. That's the angle. Oh, right. yeah. right, that's the angle where the F8 Tributo kind of comes into its own. Yeah, exactly. Very the nice. Proper driver's car. There's another proper driver's car right there. Hopefully the camera's not too shaky. I'm trying to walk like I'm on an escalator. But step behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, literally. That's me right now. <laughs> No, this is awesome. Boxer Spider, basically it came in GT4 convertible. Love it. This is a nice spec. I hadn't seen one in a spec this nice actually. The kind of like dark red interior. Very, very nice. I think it's a sick looking car. They were quite hard to get, but now they're not, not too hard to get. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, that's a bit, <laughs> yeah. That's a bit nuts over there, isn't it? Bugatti Chiron Sport actually, which just means it's a Bugatti Chiron that had a small breakfast effectively. It is very nice, this. The spec, the spec is pretty cool. That's, I think that's the perfect spec for a car. Like You've ordered a few, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just a couple, like, yeah. All of them, yeah. All of them, yeah. I mean, no, it's really, really nice. And actually, it looks like it's white and black, but that, I don't know if you can tell on camera, is carbon, exposed carbon. Oh yeah, you can tell on camera. So, and the interior as well in the exact same spec, naturally. The matte carbon. Yeah, the matte carbon in the center console is pretty ridiculous. No, it looks good. I, I really like the Sport just because I prefer the exhausts. But I think it's like 300 grand more. And that, <laughs> so that's an expensive exhaust system if that's the only... Re I mean, realistically, are you ever going to drive this hard enough to feel you the like small difference? Yeah. It's also got a single windscreen wiper. That's really? another difference, yeah. 300 grand, sir. <laughs> what, for a windscreen wiper? And then some exhaust tips. 
No, nice. I mean, I'm sure there's, it's Bugatti. They've probably done some ridiculously cool stuff. And Oh, yes. That is so sick. Oh, wow. And it's all um, handmade with Swarovski crystals. No way. Is there a real way. one like that? Um, in Dubai. Yeah. In Dubai. In Dubai. Jesus. So it's around, yeah, I think around 8 million. Nah. So With well, the real one, though, I'm hoping not this one. one. <laughs> yeah. this one. Yeah, I was going to say, seems a bit excessive. Yeah. This one is only 2,000 euros. Only okay. 2,000 euros. Yeah. It's the only Bugatti we'll ever be able to potentially afford if we work a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, it's very cool. That's going to be a pretty epic shot right there. You can lease that. Yeah. That's the perfect thumbnail for I've bought a Bugatti. Yeah. And then troll the world. Anyways, the only thing that's more impressive than this is your suit. Good job, sir. Give us a pound. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Anyways, we are Urus. Red interior as well. Very Porsche Boxster-like. Ooh, Jesus. This is rare and sick. And expensive. Oh. That is so embarrassing when that happens. And now there's no one from Bentley. By the way, I like the glasses. Thank you. Yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. This is, is this your merch? Yep. Is it available to be bought? I'm sure. Yeah, it's available to be bought. Yeah? Don't have any more sizes, but soon we'll okay. get more. <laughs> okay, well, fantastic. Well, if you guys want that. Anyways, we can keep going now that that Bentley's given up. Evo? Evo Spider, which we've both... I haven't been in a Spider. I've been in a Coupe. Sounds ridiculous. I've been in a Coupe. Sounds ridiculous. Never drove one. Never driven one, yeah. The color, the spec on this is very nice. Alcantara interior, red stitching. I love how they added the cameras. For what your, cameras? For your track days. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. So As if you're if, buying a 300k car and then you're like, you have a camera inside yeah. and, you're, and you're just like, cool. And the thing is that that's going to be like a 6,000 euro option or something. Yeah, yeah, you could just buy a 400 quid GoPro. GoPro and the quality is probably going to be like... Yeah, exactly. But at least you can say, you know, it's built for the track. Continental GTC V8. Very nice. This is the one I'd go for, actually, out of the Continentals. A coupe V8. Sorry, I was going to say you would say out of all Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> really nice. I like the front lights. It's pretty cool. V8 I'm rather not, than W12. Not. Oh, okay. <laughs> not 100%. What about of this? This, yes. Yeah, this is the nicest London cab I've ever seen. I, think <laughs> I actually I think quite that's like it. The craziest car you can drive on the road. Drive yeah. this on the road, don't care about anything. Baller. Like, I actually really like these. Uh, I think it's quite cool. Black badge. Yeah. So get the sporty color in them because, you know. Yeah. yeah. Built for the Nurburgring. A lot of people say that they're not like designy and not pretty. I like it. I think it looks... I like the front. The I'm presence, not so sure about the, the back. The presence this car has on the road is like yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you drive this, your between your legs instantly grows by about three centimeters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every, every... 100%. I think your bank account... No, your bank account... No, your bank like account... Like no, that goes to, right to the shitter. <laughs> yeah. Then we've got the new Flying Spur, which actually is really nice. Yeah. I think that looks really pretty. I like this front grille, actually. Bentley are doing it's, quite well at the moment. I quite good, like they're what they're, they're doing. They're, they're getting... Yeah, and it, you know what's quite nice? The wheels fill out the wheel arches really nicely. Often on these cars, you've got a massive gap. But this, it looks quite beastly because the wheels... I haven't noticed that. Well, now you have. And you probably have an option to... Probably. Yeah, McLaren GT. Now this... You have a McLaren. I have a McLaren. 570S. Exactly, so this is a 570S. <laughs> I've driven this. It's actually really good for you cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? I think it's very pretty. But to be honest, it's going to depreciate as well, isn't it? Yeah. You would know all about that. Now, this, yes, on the other this hand, is, is ridiculous. It, it really made me be like, how nuts could I go with a body kit on my R8? But definitely not this one. nuts. I'm considering maybe stick on canards. That's it. <laughs> That's the line. So we've got a long way to go Look to this. The yeah, the air intake is you, ridiculous. You can, you can travel snow with it. Yeah, well, it looked like it got into a fight and had its front teeth punched out. <laughs> but yeah, look at those canards as well. No, it is very, very nice, this car. I really like it. Whoa, that is a shot and a half. Wow. Um, no, very cool. And apparently they're going to make a street legal. Well, I'm not yes, exactly. too sure about I think, it. I think they're going to make a street legal version. I think. Yeah, I hope. We because, hope. It's, we I mean, hope. look at the wing. The I wing is, is like hung up. Oh, God, I think it's so cool. that's one of the best looking wings. Yeah, definitely. Be on a road legal car. It almost looks like a horn there, <laughs> coming, <laughs> coming out the back. No, I mean, it is epic. Here's just a hole, just in case you feel like adding anything right there. No, it is so sick. I really like actually the, the um, fluorescent with the white. Good, good color spec. It's like a neon lighting. Yeah, 
exactly. Um, AMG GTR. You had an AMG GTS. That works. That's perfect. But it's yeah, this is a great car. car point. There's yeah. Nothing more to say. Really good car. Yeah. Facelifted this one. Yeah. This has got the new interior, the yeah. new steering wheel, the new front lights right there. So no, that's really really nice. But you guys have seen it plenty before in the color from the Beast of the Green Hell, that matte green. Very nice spec G63 AMG. Very this nice. is another quite baller car with the night blue and then actually black down on the bumpers and stuff bumpers I, was, I think this car has to be in black yeah i agree with you i do i saw one in gray that was yeah. quite nice this is a sick color this actually this could look quite cool on that that would be pretty baller yeah i don't know what it is it's like purplish reddish burgundy that's yeah, really cool these are expensive oh, Shit. Alpina BMW, those are very nice. Great company, make some fantastic products. Okay, now, <laughs> yeah, this is a CLK GTR, and it's basically a GT1 spec. Absolute animal. This has to be the coolest car here. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, it's pretty much anywhere yes, it goes. Yes. Anywhere yeah. it goes, it's the coolest. Now, I I was told there's 20 of these in the world. I know there's five roadsters. I don't know if that's five of the 20 are roadsters or it's 20 coupes and then five roadsters but it is absolutely nuts it is huge it's just massive like the bank account or someone who don't know cullinan but yes um, i was just gonna say if you have an s-class coupe cabriolet there this is bigger oh yeah no this is way longer s-class is a pretty massive car yeah think about it in no way. this is huge so this it is just is keeps on going around back and then yeah. it's very wide I mean, the wing sticks out. This must not be an easy car to drive. I mean, look how much it's sort of in the center of the car you are. So you're kind of sat there if it's a right-hand drive and you've got all of that so you next to you. You have to figure out how much space you have on the, yeah, right, exactly. on, on the right. You just, yeah, you need to go in the truck lanes, basically. <laughs> Tiny little exhausts. I'm not sure how these things sound. I don't think they sound in ridiculous. Oh, I'm sure they actually do. I've probably said that. And so, yeah, I'm, someone's going to send a link regulations now. When they were yeah, it probably sounds absolutely ridiculous. I just haven't really heard one properly, but very cool. CLK GTR. And then we're basically at the end, we've got a British flag Jag E-Type. This is cool. This is very cool. One of eight BMW M8 Grand Coupe. This is the most expensive and the most powerful BMW on the market. I saw that in Pog's it. YouTube video title. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't actually watch the video, but I did read the title. <laughs> it does look sick. Look at that. It's the five door version of the M8. This is the M8 is the coolest car they make. I mean, it is the I most expensive, the, so you'd I hope so. I wouldn't take the four door one. I would take the coupe. Yeah, coupe looks coupe awesome. It's perfect. Yeah, and but and I'm not convinced by this color to be honest. No, it does look very cool. Um, then we've got an X6M. I'm about, about to go, oh, it's very nice. I'm about to go on a road trip in an X4M competition. Yeah, so kind of similar to this, just like it's been on a bit of a diet. Uh, the <laughs> what do you M, say? The X4M BMW, I had one for a week. Uh oh, for a test. you didn't like it, and well, you weren't you, you didn't buy one at first. I wanted, yeah, I didn't buy one, and I wasn't, I wasn't like, wow, that's yeah, you weren't, yeah. So, I mean, well, this is red interior on that one as well. And then we're basically back where we started. What the? What is this thing? Do you know what this is? Do you have any info on this? No idea. No idea. Uh, Kruger is the name. You know, back in the days when we had futuristic movies, cars yeah. actually looked like that. Yeah. Yes. Right? Like iRobot and, yeah, and no, Star Yeah, no, even Wars earlier. Like, like even older movies about future, all yeah. the cars look, look like this. Cool, it is pretty sick, or whatever it is. Well, 12 of them. W6 That's good. Peters, 750 horsepower. Uh, name? Ah, oh, there. Kruger. Wow. Kruger. 750 horsepower, 6 litre twin turbo W12. Oh. It's basically like it's a Bentley from the past made for the future. Awesome. And then we're back at Van der Hall. Remember, guys, I'm going to put their links down below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Wait, let me spin the camera. Hello. Yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Here, yes. <laughs> Probably haven't seen you for the whole video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little walk around. Thank you, Misha, for joining us. Pleasure. Always a Misha pleasure. has a YouTube channel, an English channel, a Somewhere. French channel. There. He has Instagram. It's going to be all down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little tour. Cheers. And uh, yes, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.